and my topic is GMOs. I'm always surprised when I meet someone who doesn't know what a GMO is or they think they're totally safe. So what is a GMO? A GMO is a genetically modified organism. It's when they take the gene from one thing and insert it into the genes of something else. In this case, the foods we eat. This is something that never occurs in nature. And what are the effects of doing this? Studies on animals show many health problems. Arthritis, inflammatory bowel disease, osteoporosis, hardening of the arteries, allergies, low birth weight, reproductive problems, Lou Gehrig's disease, and cancer. Industry studies are too short to reveal long-term effects, usually only 90 days. Recently, a French team that studied rats for two years discovered many prob problems, including massive cancerous tumors and multiple organ damage. Negative outcomes that are discovered in government and industry studies are not reported. Scientist, scientists that w working for the FDA and biotech co companies have been fired for trying to publish negative data. GMOs have many negative effects on humans. Doctors report a wide variety of symptoms improve after patients eliminate GMOs. Irritable bowel syndrome, cold hands and feet, thinning hair, allergies, congestion, colitis, weight gain, um, migraines, and asthma. Um, most corn grown in the U.S. is GMO. This corn contains a gene that allows the plant to produce its own insecticide. BT toxin. This toxin passes into your bloodstream. Animal studies have shown BT toxin causes negative health effects. In the only human feeding study published on GM foods, seven volunteers ate Roundup Ready soybeans. In three of the seven, the gene inserted into the soy transferred into the DNA of their intestinal bacteria and continued to function long after they stopped eating the GM soy. It is believed that the gene might continue to create insecticide inside your intestines. Isn't that disgusting? No. What should we do about it? More independent studies and donate GMOs. Mm. But how can we know what is safe to eat? GMO foods are not labeled in the United States. Why? 64 other countries have GMO labeling, including 15 nation nations in the European Union, Japan, Australia, Brazil, Russia, and even China. Biotech, chemical, and processed food companies lie to manipulate public opinion. They spend lots of money to distort facts and keep truth hidden. In California, over $45 million were spent to defeat Proposition 37. That would have required GMO labeling. Why don't they want you to know what's in your food? What should we do about it? Buy only 100% organic and non-GMO project ver verified foods. These are not genetically modified. Tell politicians you want GMO, GMO foods to be labeled. Speaking of politics, many people who work for the FDA used to work for Monsanto, and some people who work for, for Monsanto used to work for FDA. They call this a revolving door, and it creates a conflict of interest. And the agenda of these biotech criminals is not to benefit the American people. It is just to make more money for themselves. And speaking of Monsanto, as seed suppliers are bought up by a handful of big companies, our farmers and our foods suffer. Reduced seed diversity. Non-GMO seeds are becoming less available to farmers. Also, seeds adapted to local weather and soil conditions are being lost. No saving seeds to plant next year. Farmers who buy GMO seeds from Monsanto must sign a contract not to save or sell the seeds from their harvest. Cost to farmers. GMO seeds cost more and, in and increase the cost of farming due to increased herbicide use. Most common GMOs today, 94% of cotton, 93% of soy, 90% of canola, 88% of corn, 75% of Hawaiian papaya, and 54% of sugar beets. What should we do about it? Purchase local heirloom seeds from our, for our gardens and buy produce from local farmers who plant heirloom seeds. And speaking of farmers, they have other problems. Pollen drift. Pollen in the air from GMO crops contaminates non-GMO foods, organic foods, and seeds saved for next year's crop. Super weeds. Weeds eventually develop resistance to glyphosate. Then farmers must use more dangerous 
must use more dangerous herbicides, including 2,4-D, also known as Agent Orange. In Vietnam, half a million babies were born with birth defects due to the use of Agent Orange. Lawsuits against farmers. Monsanto sues farmers whose crops accidentally become contaminated with their GMO from their GMO from pollen drift. What do I think about this? I think non-GMO farmers should be protected. And what effects do GMOs have on the environment? Increased chemical spraying. Over 80% of all GMOs grown worldwide are engineered for herbicide tolerance. As a result, use of toxic herbicides like Roundup have increased dramatically. Water contamination. Biotech companies claim that glyphosate, Roundup, breaks down before reaching groundwater. But recent studies have shown this to be false. Other studies have found glyphosate in streams and rivers, as well as in air surrounding farms that use Roundup. What should we do about it? We should stop spraying these harmful chemicals into the environment. Sources of my information include the Institute for Responsible Technology, local food advocates, local farmers, Dr. Joseph Mercola, medical director and author, Jeffrey Smith, GMO expert, consumer advocate and author, JustLabelIt.org, and various other online sources, and my wonderful mom and dad and all my wonderful friends. To learn more about GMOs, see the movie Genetic Roulette or visit JustLabelIt.org. Thank you. Any questions?